What's up, Stat Family? I told you we was coming back with another one. We got NBA players explain how dominant Larry Bird was. This is a live reaction. Make sure you hit that like button, hit that sub button, and comment below. Let get it. You already know it's live and legendary. I promise you. It's big time over here. It's big time, big time, big time now. I promise you that. I told you when I get up here, I'll be for real. I don't be playing when I get up here. I'll be for real. I'll be happy when I get up here. It's a blessing right here. I thank the Lord every day for it. I promise you. I'm going to get up here playing. And let me say this again. We ain't done with the 90s. <laughs> We're going to keep that going. I promise you. We don't follow trend. We set trend. Big Bird will tell you that. We paid away. Let's get it started. Larry Bird is widely regarded as one of the greatest basketball players in the history of the NBA. You know? Bird was known for his exceptional skills, including shooting, passing, and basketball IQ. His shooting ability, both from the field and beyond the three-point line, was outstanding. Bird was known for his intense competitiveness and work ethic. His competitive nature elevated the performance of his teammates and set a high standard for the entire Celtics organization. Bird's on-court rivalry with Magic Johnson, particularly during the 1980s, is legendary and is credited with helping to popularize the NBA. Their battles in the NBA Finals including the epic Celtics versus Lakers matchups, are some of the most iconic moments in basketball history. Today's video will be NBA players talking about how Larry Bird was so dominant. Gather round, young NBA players and fans. LeBron James has a hoops history lesson for you. In a professional shout-out, James broke down the multifaceted dominance of Larry Bird's game after tying the Boston Celtics legend for sixth place on the all-time triple-doubles list at 59. One of the greatest players ever played this game. Uh, kid from French Lick. Um, you know, Boston. And then one of the few guys ever. Uh, you know, getting a three-point contest and shoot with a warm-up shirt. <laughs> and, uh, you know, but just, just like, he played until he couldn't play no more, obviously. Definitely. You know that. He just played until he literally couldn't play the game no more. He gave everything he had. And uh, for young guys that don't know him, you know, they, they think of Larry Bird as a jump shooter. Uh, but he was so much more than he was a passer. He averaged double-digit rebounds. Um, he definitely took charges. James also gave credit to the other dynamic small forwards he admired growing up. Scotty Pippen, Julius Irving, and George Gervin. And, um, you know, he's a straight-up complete basketball player. And me as a small forward, you know, Scotty, Bird. Uh, Doc, um, uh, George Gervin, the guys that I kind of looked up to being a small forward, you know, and they kind of set the precedence of what it is to, you know, go out there as a professional and give it all. So, you know, I've always been a big fan of Larry Bird, and, um, and you know, from Link, one of the other greats, especially like him, um, it's pretty cool. James Ty Bird, a three-time NBA champion and three-time league MVP, with his 59th career triple-double back then. As noted by James, Bird's career was halted by injuries. He only played 186 regular season games over his final four NBA campaigns before retiring at 35 in 1992. Long ago, before he started pairing up with other stars, Paul George suited up for the Indiana Pacers. During his Pacers stint, he had the privilege of being around Larry Legend, who served as an executive for the organization. Naturally, George had some unforgettable moments with the Boston Celtics icon. He shared one during a recent podcast episode, highlighting Bird's natural shooting skills and self-confidence. One of my all-time favorite stories of Larry, it was after practice, right? We're shooting, and he's like walking out of the gym about to leave. I've never seen him play. I've never seen him shoot. I always had this vision of him from YouTube videos and old clips like that. But the ball rolls over to him. He's in slacks. He's in a button-down. He got his loafers on, so he picks up the ball. And I'm sure he probably hasn't shot the ball like that, I don't know, in years at this point. Shoots that mother cash. 
and then just smooth walked out, bro. And that was it. But I was just like, he could have f***ed that up or airball. I am who I am. I'm the bird. Maybe George took pointers from his former boss. Because the Los Angeles Clippers star is a career 38.1% shooter from beyond the arc. It wasn't apparent early on that he would become an efficient marksman, as his rookie season saw him connect on just 29.7% of three-point attempts. It wouldn't be surprising if Larry Legend played a significant role in PG's improvement, not just as a shooter, but also as a player. After all, the Hall of Famer also found success as a coach and executive. He helmed the Pacers from 1997 to 2000, winning the Coach of the Year award in 1998 and ending his coaching career with a 147-67 record, or .687. Then in 2003, he was hired as the franchise's president of basketball operations. Bird was awarded the Executive of the Year for his role in Indiana's 2011-12 season, making him the only person in NBA history to win MVP, Coach of the Year, and Executive of the Year. In 2021, James Harden's star had shined brightly when he came to Brooklyn, while he had to make adjustments to his style of play, it had not stopped him from breaking milestones. Harden moved into 34th place on the NBA's all-time scoring list as he passed Hall of Famer Larry Bird. The 2018 Most Valuable Player realized that is no easy accomplishment. Obviously, you know how great Larry was <laughs> and the things he did in Boston. A legend, <laughs> a legend. I think I just, I play the game the right way and hopefully, you know, good things happen for me. Um, Passing, you know, one of the greatest ever played basketball. One of the greatest ever played basketball is a, it's a great honor, and um, I just gotta continue to go because at the end, the end of the day, uh, I want my name to be, you know, you know, a mission with those greats. While Harden is regarded as one of the best pure scorers of all time, and is having yet another amazing season, he has a way to go before he can be mentioned with the likes of Larry Legend. Harden knows that he hasn't reached the legendary status of Bird yet. But winning a championship could change all of that. Now, this hat tip goes to Kobe Bryant for giving the other side of the Celtics-Lakers rivalry a little boost. The late Los Angeles star was asked on ESPN Radio in 2013 to name the five greatest NBA players of all time. And he listed Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, Bill Russell, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar as his choices. But he wasn't content to let the names speak for themselves. He gave special props to one player who wore Celtics green. I will say, as the years go on, people really forget how great Larry Bird was. He was ridiculous. And I grew up in LA, just like everyone else here, hating his guts. Dude, the guy was just money. Another former NBA player and Los Angeles Lakers legend, James Worthy, shared his Larry Bird trash-talking story confirming all of those anecdotes are true. When the Lakers matched up against the Celtics, Worthy was frequently in charge of guarding Bird. And he remembers one time when they were coming out of a timeout, and Bird immediately told him what play they were going to run and what would happen in the following moments. But there were times where he would come out of a timeout. I remember this one time, you might have heard this before, because he did with a lot of people. I had to guard him. You know the play is coming, but he would tell you it's coming. He told you to play. You know, with DJ Hamlin, Robert's going to, Mikhail's going to set a flash a pick for, for Robert. But Robert, that's only to free him up to come and set a pick for me. And he says, if you trail, I'm going to trail into the lane to the float. And he said, if you pop, he said, if you try to get over the top, he said, I'm going to pop to that corner and bust a jump. I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm all up on it. <laughs> you know, I got a shirt tail. I'm holding that. You know, I'm like, you know, you know where I'm from. I'm from Gastonia. I ain't talking to Sure enough, man. He, the ball comes in. <laughs> DJ takes a couple dribbles. I'm quick. I'm quick enough. I think I can get over the top. I, I, I get over the top. I get out there, but he pops to the corner and I'm running. He kind of waiting. You know, uh, <laughs> he was an asshole. You know, Larry Bird used to hit the All Star game for a few years. He would go into the locker room, and all the contestants would be over there. Three point contest. All the three point contestants would be sitting in there, about to go out. And he would walk in. He did this for like three or three years in a row, and he was like, "Which one of y'all is coming in second? 
and then he would just walk out and win the damn thing. <laughs> he was that good. I didn't like him, but he was he was that good. Larry Bird trash talking stories never get old, and there is no question that more will resurface in the future. The brutal confidence he had when playing in the NBA at the highest level was absolutely staggering, and Worthy's story epitomizes that perfectly. Larry Legend was indeed a one-of-a-kind player in the history of the NBA, and we haven't seen many like him, even 30 years after he retired from the game of basketball. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys! Is Bird one of the goats? Let me know in the comments below! Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel! Thanks for watching, and see you next time! Man, every time I watch it, man, it's like it's a new every single time, like... Dude is a real legend. Dude got real legends out here speaking about his game and how he went about his business and how he handled that. What? Man. Y'all heard what word they said? I ain't like him. But he respected him, though. That's legendary. You know, when you get done playing, you got to salute him one really went out there and laced them up every night and handled business every night now. Bird will lace them up every night and handle business every night. You gotta salute. But for real though, this shit never gets old. Never gets old like this guy probably had the most NBA legend talking about him. I never seen no shit like this, for real though. Which one he got real goats talking about him? <laughs> Come on, man. He ain't said a word either. And he said he was the best one time. Damn. They talking about him. I'm talking about they speaking upon his name. That's legendary. That's goat status right there. Kobe Bean Brown got him in his top five. What? I'm talking about Kobe Bean. Kobe Bean Brown. Y'all know him. Eight, number 24. Got Bird in his top five. If y'all ain't know, go check it out. If y'all ain't seen it yet, type in Kobe Bryant top five in the search bar on YouTube. And he'll let you know. Who his top five is. You gonna hear Big Bird name up there. I promise you. That's when you know you done put in work. You done inspired somebody. You legendary Big Bird. I promise you, no. I promise you. You inspired Bean Brian to go out there. It all came, it all came to me though. When I when I when I heard that top five list from Bean Brian, it all made sense who he played like. Played just like Jordan and Bird. That's exactly who he played like. That's why you played through injuries. Me and Brian had me playing through injuries. Whole time, Big Bird started. That's why Bean and Brian went out there and never complained every night. Every game he played, to my coach played every night. He ain't missing no game. He ain't sitting out. He got to be, it really got to be really something wrong. They gotta really tell him, man, you can't do it, you can't play tonight, man. He really he really play. I'm talking about with a torn rotator whatever whatever it's called. He gonna play with he gonna play in, I promise you. We salute that being right. And you see how he got out there when he said top five, he ain't do no holder back. Letting people know like Big Bird, you the truth now. The real legend. The real legends keep talking about you. I promise you. This shit never gonna stop. <laughs> For real though. I didn't hear you you got other people talking about you and they and they speeches. Come on man, this guy's a real legend. Let's stop it. Let's stop it for real. Big bird. Knock down. <laughs> bird family, y'all already know it's legendary over here. I ain't gotta say too much. I ain't gotta say too much. A real legend for real, a real hooper right there. Every time I see Bird though, he do something to me though. Like now I know when I step on that court, it's a different feeling though. The 
means something when I step on that court. It always meant something, but now it means it really means something. Like you don't go out there playing. I ain't never go out there playing on that court now. I don't care if I'm playing by myself. I take it serious. Every time I go hoop, I take it serious like it's my last time hooping. Cause you never know when it's gonna be your last day now. That's why you play hard every single game. Every single time you hoop, play hard. Every time I hoop, if I'm playing like somebody guarding me, if I'm playing by myself, I take it serious. I shout out to Big Bird. Shout out to Big and Brown. I'm real legend right now. Shout out to James Worthy too. Shout out to LeBron. Thank y'all, Stat Family. Thank y'all, Bird Family, for watching the full video. We're going to be back with another video after this video. Make sure y'all stay prayed up. Y'all be safe. And y'all be good. Yup.